Bobby here with Pursue Simple Life out here at Baca Campground this afternoon and I think we found the spot we got some water trickling behind us it's a beautiful day hoping not to get too much rain but even a little bit we'll be prepared for we got one of the hammock setups right there that's Aaron's and he's overlooking the water That's his pickup. Got us a nice little fire ring. And of course we got the Jeep. I brought a table out this time with a Coleman stove. Got the uh, bougie RV refrigerator back here just working itself. It's a little warm out. It's down to 33 at the moment. It's reading a little bit higher than that. I'm still playing with that. And there's my setup. Got the rain fly pulled back. It's an Eno double nest. And I really like that. So we're going to give this a shot tonight. Hopefully that weather doesn't mess with us too bad. That fence right there is private property, so we're at the very furthest back you can get in Baca Campground. There's you the inside, underside look of Aaron's setup. We've got identical hammocks. He's got a little better rain fly, but mine works. Look at this. You don't get this at a lot of these places and I've never known water to be running here at Baca Campground. Cool. Just so nobody thinks that we just made this campsite, I definitely would not have taken the time to make this big of a fire circle. That was here, so somebody's obviously established this as a campground or a campsite. It's got a little two-track road that comes into it. We came in from that way. Let's check on the bougie. Still just cycling away. So you'll see it's reading 35, or sorry, 33. And if we really look in here, it'll be hard for you to see. It's realistically reading more about 37, we'll call it. So I'm kind of forcing it to cycle by turning it down. We shall see. So one of the things to supplement, because I got a lot of loss that's going to the back, uh, the I have to turn it down because the the refrigerator doesn't doesn't think that there's enough voltage there when really it never pulls it down below about 11 and a half volts. It's supposed to shut off 10 and a half. I think I just got too much line running and then the, the cord for it, I may shorten it up at some point, but this is a portable 100 watt solar system. It's got alligator clips to the battery. There's your solar charge controller. We got charge coming in to the battery. Right now it's sitting at 12 and a half volts. And it just runs on this little cord on up. And yeah, I just got it propped at the front of the Jeep for the moment being. I would have thrown it up top, but our, our sun's kind of coming from that away. And while we're over here, let's look at the beautiful Capitan Mountains. All right, so Aaron found the craziest grasshopper ever. I guess we started the fire.
we've officially discovered that we're old because we did a comparison in red vines. This uh, snack worthy ringy dingy Australian red licorice. And these uh, Twizzlers. We've decided Twizzlers are the winner. And also realized that we are no longer uh, cool, I think. But we have a really cool fire going, so that's nice. It's a big one. It is a big one. It's a big fire. Mm -hmm. Well, we've pretty much got camp broke down and just packing up the last few things. We got woken up by uh, some of the local residents. There was one bull in particular that did not want us to sleep in. However, it was still a beautiful morning. Got up, made some breakfast, and uh, now just packing up to go home. Could have stand to hear the pain of a small baby cry.